So we got everything up and running here. Um, spent Saturday and Sunday converting some of the uh, some of the signals to turn lanes and um, going ahead and um, getting everything all wired up. You can see we got our four peds right here. And I got the two and walk and two and don't walk. And the one that should start counting down here shortly. Uh, let's give it a second. There it goes. And if we look right here, you can see there's our two peds going to town there with the uh, ped clear. I don't know if we can see it up here. Oh, I already missed it. But, uh, I decided to switch to the um, Econolite because I got tired of fooling around with the, uh, the E-Pack. I, I, I know this one really well and I can go through the menus quite fast. I wanted to get this up and running so went ahead for now and put the Econolite in there. And later on I'll put the E-Pack back in uh, when I sit down and really get to, to know it well, real well. But right for now. I mean, I can program this thing in like 10 minutes and be done with it. And uh, that's what I want. And I want to get everything working. And uh, you can see there's our, our peds running out there. Again, the ped clear. And these are our signals. So um, it's better if I go down a little bit lower. So I had to uh, convert these three to turn lanes. Because uh, originally they were just regular, regular signals. So, uh... But, uh, so what we got here is we got um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So two and two work together. Those two will work together right there. And then these two will work together. And then these two will work together. And then of course those circles back and those two will work together. So The, uh, those two should turn. I guess we have the uh, pads counting down, so. I'll have to wait for the peds to count them. And then we should get a... And there we go. So everything's ever running. And then this is my... Loop detectors are not uh, hooked up right yet because I don't have any loops connected to them. So when I do, I'll have them all connected up and then they'll be running just fine. I do still got to uh, fix the one because some um, Nimrod decided to cut off the end of it. And I wish they had not done that. So I'll have to put a new uh, one of these Canon connectors on there and get that uh, fixed. I already have a Canon connector, so it's no big deal. I'll just have to stick it on there, really. Just haven't gotten to it. And all of my wiring's all done. Got all tucked up in here real nice. So that's uh, it's all going. And all my load switches are all doing what they're supposed to do. My flasher is, supposed to, is doing what it's supposed to do. And let's pull. Let's pull that one. Of course. What do you know? Got her in flash mode. So let's see if I can get that back in there without too much problem. There we go. Do a quick reset of the thing. And everybody should be back working the way they were. And what does they do? So everything seems to be working okay. Of course, the ped had to reset, so it's going to do its little voodoo. I'll probably be wrong. <laughs> but uh, all, my, all my switches work. So if I want to do a pet call or vehicle call here, all this stuff all 
more works if I change it to I have everything reserved now so it's going to cycle through all the all the peds and all that right now because uh, I just want to let everything run um, and everything's running pretty good out here still we, uh, this is the uh, this is the econo light we were checking out that I bought, I bought and um, I still might use it in the other signal it seems to work quite well but uh, everything is working and uh, it's all looking good you know and that ped will uh, count down on the next cycle it's because we I tripped up the uh, to put it into flash mode so it has to cycle through and that'll be fine but, uh, it's a uh, gap now right there so I got a red there we go now we should have our peds our walk has got six more seconds to go for three one and we should get our peg clear right there it's weird is they both got different numbers on them go figure right what only happens uh happen when I uh reset it must have gotten a different count there are different I think they're different uh manufacturers oh, no actually they're not they're both GE ones Go figure. No. No. Have I have one other controller too? I have a Peak uh, 3000 that uh, we'll probably put on the system, one of the two systems, and test it out. I've got it on a little jig right now. <clears throat> it seems to be working okay. I just don't. I don't have the programming manual, so I'm going through it, you know, and figuring it out for myself. But uh, we'll probably have the Peak on here. Uh, sooner or later running or on the other uh, system out there whichever one works this is probably easier to do because I don't have to fool around with too much but uh, so far everything seems to be working I may even actually hook up a, a phone line to this we'll see about that that's down the road though first we get the, the loops working and pet detection and all that stuff and we'll, we'll be good to go uh, Oh my god here, we'll take a quick peek at the uh, the old system. <laughs> it's still running okay. And this one too has a satellite in it as well. There's my there's my e pack down there. Uh, I will put it back in in the service, but uh, for right now it's just gonna have to be what it is. Let's pilot the lights out right now. Much it for right now. We'll get on with the uh, the rest of it later.